Hey, this is Cycling Explorer, and today I happen to be at the suspension bridge between Bexley and Columbus, and I'm going to give you some history on what happened with this bridge in 1922 and where we are today. So come on, let's check it out. On the right side of the circle is Bexley and Wolf Park, and on the left side is Columbus and Academy Park. Dated November 9, 1922 from Engineering News, these are the actual schematics for the bridge itself. Now you notice that the footers are about 13 feet below the riverbed. This bridge went through major reconstruction in 2013. These are pictures prior. In 1911, a group of area businessmen founded Columbus Academy to provide a local option for secondary education at the highest standards. During the beginning phases, Columbus Academy emerged as an all-boys college preparatory school. Columbus Academy's first campus was situated on four acres along the Columbus side of the Alum Creek River. Numerous additions to the main house were made as the number of students in grades 5 to 12 grew. After continued enrollment growth and repeated flooding along the Alum Creek, the board approved a 20-year plan for relocation starting in 1948 and they left in 1968 to Gahanna. Columbus ended up with the land and named the park Academy Park after the school. Now the bridge played a vital role because prior to 1922, the students from Bexley had to walk down to Main Street to cross the river. Broad Street was not constructed yet and it would be three years after the bridge before the construction of St. Charles just to the north. Hey, I don't know about you, but my favorite part about a suspension bridge is when it actually moves. So I don't know if this is going to work, but uh, hey, let's just see if you can feel it moving. I can actually feel it. Hopefully the camera picks it up too. This is always so much fun to do. If you ever have a chance just to jump up and down on a suspension bridge, it's always a blast. Thanks for watching. Now get out and explore.